Hey guys, Lindsay here with Fit With Nutrition. As you guys know, I am a certified math and nutrition coach, helping you guys learn everything about health and fitness and this entire lifestyle here. So today and the rest of this vlog, I am in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm here on a work conference for my other full-time position that I have. I am a recruiter for a technical school, so we are here on our weekly conference. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit, as much as I can, about what's going on, maybe film a couple workouts for you in our hotel gym, kinda of show you what I have available and how you can make the most of what you're doing. So we're gonna have a little bit of a chit chat here, but um, stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy this vlog. on a little bit of a hotel tour. This is what I traveled in. These are just some Victoria's Secret pink camo hoodie, some Amazon leggings, and my Adidas shoes. I just traveled in this light, had my hair braided. Um, my hotel room has a wardrobe here. There's a nice little Keurig here, so that's super nice. And a little mini fridge under there. The bathroom has this cool sliding door double sinks here Get some light up in here whoa holy smokes okay hi all right this lighting is so much better not nice and the noise so here's the bathroom nice little tub going on and they did not leave me any soap or oh it's right here the soap and stuff is here so that's my bathroom. So here you kind of have the bedrooms, TV. So you have two beds. It's just me in the hotel. So, and then I have a city view. So here's Norfolk here. There's a little bit of water back there. There's a glare from this. So don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I can give you a better view in the morning. But down here where that red is, we went to a bar there. They only had burgers and beer, so it wasn't that great. I didn't eat anything. And then underneath here is Hell's Kitchen. So I'll kind of throw in some clips there for ya. But yeah, you can, there you go. You can see the water right there. So there's a little bit of water there for ya. So pretty neat here. So I used Anthony's Bibs um, backpack here for military. And I want to talk to you guys about what I brought. It's a little dark, but shout out to my neighbor Addie. She gave me these awesome packing pods. If you guys don't have these, I, I don't know, they're like packing pods, cubes, packing cubes. It is amazing. So I'm here for Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We fly out Thursday. So, and it's like business casual, um, somewhat Jesse. We have a formal night on Wednesday, so like I need two outfits for Wednesday. And you know, as a female, it's really, really hard to pack all of your clothes. So I will link the item on Amazon in the bio, in the description of this video so you guys can access that as well too. So um, just take advantage please, because I fit all these clothes in this pocket. And I fit it all, side note, with three pairs of shoes. Um, I fit that in my um, carry-on here. So it's, it's pretty small in my opinion, but it could be worse, honestly. So I have two bras, two sports bras, two blazers, three pairs of pants, one, two, three, four, four or five shirts, and then I have two jumpsuits. One of them I'm wearing tonight, the other one I'm wearing for the formal night. So all of that packed, and then my underwear and my socks. So all of that packed up with my flats and two pairs of boots in that bag. So super, super um, recommend that as well too. 
Now, just kind of want to like chat with you a little bit about what I'm doing as far as food, how I'm doing that. So I also purchased a, um, a travel scale. I'll also link that in this, the description as well too. It's super thin and if I have the opportunity to weigh out my food, I will. If not, I'm just going to eyeball using my hand with measurements um, for things and kind of really, really focusing on my veggies, getting lots of water in and um, looking for lean protein sources. That's not like coated in a bunch of stuff. Now, I don't know what lunch, dinner is options. It's a breakfast buffet as far as what the Hilton offers. Um, so I'm gonna find out tonight and I'll talk to you guys after, after the dinner tonight and the kind of mixer, kind of see how things go. Right now I'm in a kind of calorie maintenance um, not really a loss right now I'm trying to keep some things normal as far as my hormones and kind of see how my body reacts to that and with me not having a whole lot of control of this week I am doing the best of it so today when I got to the airport I had this jerky and it was turkey jerky I had that and that was the only thing I had I had two cups of coffee coffee and a bunch of water and then when we got back I had two Miller Lights when we first arrived and then when we went to Hell's Kitchen because people got burgers and fries at the other bar um, at Jack's or John's, I don't know, something like that. Um, and I obviously didn't want that because I'm trying to wait for dinner because I don't know what to expect. So when we got to Hell's Kitchen, I saw they had sides of broccoli and asparagus. So I ordered that. So I had a side of broccoli and a side of asparagus and that's all I've eaten today. So I have about 1500 calories left for me to track for the remainder of the night. Dinner starts at 6.30. So I will show you guys my outfit whenever I'm finished. So um, that's what I packed in my backpack. I have my straightener, my bathroom stuff, my laptop, my, um, books and my, um, my tripod for my camera and that's about it. So that's all I brought. So I'm going to make, hopefully this is like as minimal as possible. I think I kind of killed it as far as packing. So I will see you guys, um, when I'm ready for dinner. Bye. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing once Pam gets here and going to zip me up. So just some black boots, took my hair out. So this, I'm gonna put on my white blazer. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear to the, um, to the dinner. What's going on guys? It's, uh like 8 30 and we all went to the kind of like mixer mingler the, what i the offer that i showed you earlier and i just really wanted to take it off so i just did so i didn't get any like major photos here but i kind of want to show you and talk to you guys about what happened because like it's just like it's it's life and that's what i'm here to explain you know everything that happened and how like I'm gonna handle it so they had okay I don't know this is gonna work um so they had dancing there they had um Like finger foods, so like for example, this is like all they had. There was no lean meat. So my protein for today was just like it was just it was bad. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is just again like for lean protein sources. I had no control over my dinner. We wanted to we tried to go to the bar afterwards. That's like on another level. Like all they had was cheese, hummus, um, finger foods, carrots, celery, um, like little baby like onions, mushrooms, and that's about it. So like, and some desserts. And I would literally take one bite of like the dessert and just like throw it away because it just, like it wasn't good. And I had two bites of the dessert. And then um, I had 
two Jack and Diets while we were there. So I logged that as well. I logged my Jack and Diets. And then what I'm going to do is they had Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, celery, and so I'm just going to kind of log like more fats and carbs. Like I'm like, like I can't really track this. I don't know. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. I don't know what they put on stuff. So I'm going to just take today as kind of a, not a wash, but so I had, let me, um, so I had six plus 12, 48. Okay. So I had 1200 calories left for the day and I'm just gonna like, that's it. Like, I'm just gonna eat this. It's 8.30, I'm gonna call Anthony, cause I, I just, I miss him and I never talk to him, um, but he's playing pool right now, so I don't really know what's gonna happen. And I just kinda start over. I went to the gym, we danced, guys, dancing. If you have the opportunity to dance, freaking go do it. Like, if you burn calories, it's fun. Like, literally, I, reached my step goal like i reached my step goal earlier and i hit four thousand more steps just by dancing for a couple hours and then like i hit my calorie burn for the day so like it's great like i hit the gym i got my steps in um i trained shoulders and i'm gonna take you with me tomorrow or a couple days during this week so i can show you how i'm accommodating this hotel workout all they have is like dumbbells and two cables and one bench and four treadmills and three ellipticals like it's nothing great there's a couple of medicine balls so i'm just gonna do the best that i can with what i have available um steps are my priority right now and i'm not training my lower body i'm just doing my my pt exercises because my back is hurting really bad so that is what i am doing so yeah, so that's how I'm handling some things. I know it's probably not the coolest uh, coolest thing in the world, but I appreciate you guys watching. So, side note, I wish my hair was this curly, but can't do that because of uh, all the bleach. So, braids it is. Anyways, good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. What's up? So we walked for 20 minutes in addition to the workout and now we're going to shower and I'm going to show you a different outfit than this. All right, here's the outfit. Again, fanny, leopard, white boots. That's it. All right, here we go. Off to go do some events and I'll catch you guys when I can. So, toodaloo. What's going on guys? We are in Norfolk. Pam's here. Hey. Pam's new to the YouTube here. We're gonna, we're gonna, she's gonna be on YouTube now. <laughs> so we're just uh, on a break and Let's walk around the riverfront, so I'll just flip you around here. So that's where we're staying, and it's freezing. This is American Rover. There's the front. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool.
pretty cool. So, wish it was a little bit warmer, but it's not 30 degrees in Indiana, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Just had lunch. I will put in on the next uh, section here, you're gonna see what I ate and how I tracked it. And so it was a buffet lunch with sandwiches and soup. So I'll show you what I did to modify that. But that's about it. So we'll catch you guys later. Good morning. It is, I don't even know, it's Wednesday. And it's seven o'clock in the morning. Hanging out with you guys here right now. Oh, great, lovely. So we went out last night. We had dinner at 6.30 and then we went next door to the tap room. Someone told us that they had karaoke there and they did not. They were playing trivia and it was like really hard, so we left. They went to an Irish pub called Grace O'Malley's. It was cool. I tried a flight of whiskey and one of them literally could have caught on fire because it was so strong. And so I had to order a Diet Coke and mix with that. So I just want to talk to you guys about what I have for dinner and how I logged it. I did not go to the gym this morning. I'm going to go this afternoon, um, but I am going to focus on my steps today as well. So yesterday I had, I'll show you my Fitbit if it loads. So yesterday I had 11,000. 900 steps and then um, for food I just logged calories yesterday because dinner what was available it was like pizza and chicken wings and like iceberg lettuce salad and it's just not the ideal picture for someone who is um, health conscious so I did eat a veggie pizza slice so I just found one that was like these high calories because it was a fairly big slice so it was um, 260 calories and then I had four plain chicken wings so if I go to here I had four plain chicken wings and I logged those from Pizza Hut. And then I had, oh my gosh, why do you keep going away? I don't understand. Um, whiskey. So I had, I had five drinks last night, but because I didn't know like exactly how much they measured, I just logged eight ounces of whiskey, which is 520 calories. Um, there can be some error in there uh, for sure, but I just wanted to log something that could um, be as close as possible to what I did consume. And I did have a chocolate chip cookie, and they're typically the size of the ones that are at Walmart, so that's what I logged. It's 120 calories, and that's it. So I had a little bit of calories left over, and that just kind of gives me some wiggle room for the pizza slice that I ate or the drinks. So I... Um, we went to bed at like 11. I got like six and a half hours of sleep. Not the greatest thing in the world, but you do what you gotta do. Um, tonight's another late night. We have lots of training today. I'm going to, again, get a workout in this afternoon and you know, maybe be show you a couple of things here on my phone. So, thanks for tuning in so far. I appreciate it. This is how I'm doing things. What's up guys? So it's like midnight. 
Let's see, how do I do this? I don't know. Sorry. Hmm. Okay, trying to hold it. Um, I want to take this day and count it as a, a loss. I did not track my food. I had, again, I didn't have control over what I ate. So I, you know, kind of compensated for today. I knew I was going to, you know, have a dinner tonight with drinks and I just didn't know what else to expect. So I had a very low carb lunch and I did not um, have any carbs for breakfast either. So I just kind of like kept everything in moderation until tonight at the awards banquet. So I had um, chicken and green beans. There was a like rice pilaf risotto available. I did not eat that, but I did eat a slice of chocolate cake and it was delicious. I enjoyed it. Um, I had two drinks and I danced my ass off on the dance floor. Like I'm sweating. It's insane. Um, so I'm probably gonna take a cold shower and go to bed. Tomorrow's my last day here at the conference. We are going to have an award, um, like a goodbye send off in the morning and then we're gonna go head to the airport. So that's what's gonna go on. I'm going to pack up my stuff and get ready for tomorrow, um, get some sleep. Um, probably gonna work out in the morning. I don't know. I might just get some steps in. Breakfast isn't until 8. You don't have to get up until 9.30. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, not every day is perfect. Um, I'm not perfect by <laughs> any means. Um, you know, it's a lifestyle. So, I mean, what happens, you know, this week? I just continue. I push forward. I learn. I learn that... I have control. I can stop when I'm full. Guys, you don't understand what it feels like to feel like you're full when you've been in a situation where you are constantly hungry, where you feel like that you could eat the entire world and still be hungry. Um, to now having an amazing relationship with food and not and listening to your body and knowing when you're full and knowing that um, you can, you know, have a little bit of something, have a bite of something and be completely content with it. And that's just what this weekend has shown me, you know, just to continue the lifestyle. Like I get it. Food's addictive. It's good. Like it's hard. So I'm just here to show you guys that I'm just going to keep pushing forward and, you know, embracing my lifestyle. I'm hitting the gym every day and I'm just making the best of it. So, and that's what you have to do. And I'm tracking everything that I can as close as I can, um, that I'm aware of just so that I'm still staying on my habits. That's, that's really important to continue those things, those daily tasks, even though they may not be 100% accurate. So it's just gonna keep me moving forward and staying consistent there, so. But I, again, that's for today. I know I haven't really showed you guys a whole lot of stuff. Just kind of more like a chit chat, kind of how I do things. Um, I don't, I didn't wanna film a whole bunch during this conference because you know, this is my work, my other, my other day job conference. So, um, some video photography and, and filming is not, um, probably not welcome. So I did not do that, but, um, I appreciate you guys watching and I'm going to sign off here. How's it going? Me here in the raw, uh, no makeup on, uh, just me, wet shower hair. I just wanted to hop on. It's been 
a few days since you saw the last video. It's now Thursday into the next week. It's actually February now. Holy smokes. Um, and I wanted to just kind of close some things up and let you know that I came home, I stepped on the scale, and I actually ended up dropping weight since my vacation. So I was very conscious the entire time. Con conscious whatever that word is, you know what I'm saying. I was very aware of what I was eating and I wanted to make sure that I didn't, you know, go overboard. I didn't go into kind of like a binge cycle. I didn't eat in my hotel room at all, which is actually a first. Typically when I'm on vacation, I'll order room service or bring food back up to the room. I, what, I didn't do that besides one night, the very first night that we got there, I brought out some cheese that were part of the finger foods and I did not do that um, the remainder of the week. So I count that as a major win for me. I made sure that I prioritized protein and I tried to get in as many fruits and vegetables as possible and then kind of go towards like carbohydrates afterwards. So the trip was phenomenal. It was so much fun, and if you guys are ever in the Virginia Beach area, definitely go check it out. They've got a lot of history and some fun things, things to do along the waterfront. So, it was amazing, and I hope I gave you guys a little bit of an insight on how to handle things and feed your body for fuel and for health and for wellness while you are gone and still have a little bit of fun. Again, thanks guys for watching so much.